Come on, Tetra. Uh, Tetra. Just, come on, Tetra. Uh, just, uh, Tetra, come on. Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. I am Shrikelad Tamer, and it's time to enter the Hyrule Castle with Tetra. And let's take her to the room of the stuff that is secret. Come on. Like, I know you're pretty much just following me anyway, but let's keep on going and stop jumping through the uh, tiny holes. And, well. Are you him? Are you the one who was speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an enhanced version of the gossip stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. You made it? The royal family's gossip stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legend of the great hero, the place where the power of the gods lie hidden. This place, where the two of you now stand, is that kingdom. This is Hyrule, but it's a little low right now. And I am its king, Daphnis Nohansen Hyrule. Link, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am Coral. There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you, so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Lugannon, so instead of Coral, he's DNH. If only his name... Uh, second letter acronym thing wasn't he, so we could call him De? Once long ago, this land of Hyrule turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself, and so with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens. Our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. It all was not lost, but the gods knew that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors! I think you might have to rise or something. Hundreds of years have passed since then. He says like a regal words instead of swear words. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods place upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, and so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live. What? Tetra is reacting to the King's Triforce of Wisdom! What is happening? Congratulations! Your Tetra has mega evolved into... Princess Zelda. My... Fate, you are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Link, I'm terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world you know about the waves. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. 
I have suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Indeed, I will. Zelda! It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, the sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Or Ganon just has Alzheimer's because I'm pretty dang sure he has been in here before in Ocarina of Time, if it is the same. He's kind of teleporting away. Link. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But then Epic face on to go kill some bitches even more. Link. Be careful. And we must leave once again, and return to the world above with our newfound knowledge of what must go on. What you gotta say, Coral? Link, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the Sages who infused the blade with God's power. The Sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head for these two temples to see what has happened to the Sages and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temples. But each temple should have another entrance high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemies' attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. Indeed, let's, let us set sail and actually control with the pad of things. Up through the P. I guess P has buoyancy or something. Probably does, because, oh, no, science must be a thing. That is a thing. Link, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once a long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. The peace of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time, and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. That sacred peace is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero, like Navi. It is said that at the time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but this much I do know, they lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. Might you have crossed paths with someone who knows about, much about things that lie hidden in the depths of the sea? Well, fret not, if you can think of no one. Though maybe you could come upon the knowledge by asking around in a place where many people gather. Mm, indeed, that could be a thing. But, uh, um, let's see. Uh, something that we can do now. There's a lot of side quests that I'm going to do before we actually get started on those couple temples to restore the Master Sword. But as for now, let's teleport into Mother and Child Islands, so we can actually go into the Mother Island, which has something for us that is going to help us rather well. There's some fairies here. <laughs> he, he, tell me, little boy, can you control the wind? He, so young to have such power, how do you know to find me here? I am the queen of the fairy world. What is the matter, my child? Does it not surprise you, young one? I like you, and so I shall give you new power to the bow that you wield. Oh, using that psychic power for a doll of a normal great fairy, then split it into bigger normal fairies. I don't know. Science must be a thing. These aren't any old fairies right here. 
At least these fairies won't be here to bother us. And instead, they're actually going to be here to be a little bit of help to us. Because we now have new powers. Of dividing my zero with the power of fire and ice arrows. Yeah. So we can change arrowheads and use magic to use either the elements of fire or ice. And these are required to go through the story to get us uh, things that actually allow us to get into the temples. Ice arrows can freeze the hottest flames and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. Fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. You gotta follow the guidebook of things. Child, I must tell you, you're just my type. Hee hee hee. Coral's just like, get some, Link. And he's just like, heh heh. I don't know. It's kinda purple. And with that, um, I think I'm gonna get started by heading off to Windfall Island. Aye, this smell must be dancing. Good morning. Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Uh, cash on delivery. 201 rupees, okay, let's pay it, because I have a do bottom wallet, but I have plenty of money. And of course, who's here to rid me of my wallet except but Tingle? Incredible chart, so that can be kind of a thing. I can't really show it to you guys, but uh, I'm on the gamepad right now. And bringing up the incredible chart is showing you certain things that we'll be dealing with later on in the game. Well, would you look at who's the poor one now, huh? Yeah, not so fanning yourself right now, huh? Okay. Anyone else have to Zenari? No, 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 if you want to speak to me, you must talk to me at the reception counter. Why do you even have the counter? Are you there to, like, bargain drugs or something? I don't even know what you saw behind there, even under all those bows. And so yeah, he has a little new kind of thing going on here, right here, blah blah blah, rare items. Uh, source of a uh, bad trading side quest. Yes, let's talk to him once again. Delivery bag, yes I do. It requires you to sit back. Mm, request, eh? Understand my polite general store. That makes us money by obtaining things. And then, once we meet said other people, they send their things over here. Yes, merchants that have done things that are helpful. <laughs> I'm not even reading a dang thing that is set us up for the whole thing about Merchant's Oats. And that town flower, Merchant's Oats, that's probably going to be the title. The first thing you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant and trade it for something to build on the foundation of my Merchant's Oath. If you trade, Merchant, you will send some products over here, yes. And then, we can have more things here to buy. There's also a little side quest that we can do with uh, decorating Windfall, but I'm not really going to deal with it quite yet. Let's scale these stairs and enter the rich house. It's like, it's like connected throughout the whole balcony things of the whole Windfall thing. So yeah, people must be really rich. And would you look who's the rich guy now, and is now an asshole. Oh, you're just some righteous stranger, urchin. I thought you was the postman. The careful if you wear the puzzle and shoot it out of the air so he can say boo! I'm like French and Austrian as well. And of course, there's his daughter over there. <sighs> yeah, Maggie. <laughs> My daughter, the glittering, sparkling treasure. And something that's a little creepy. And part of the side quest. Let's go ahead and see what it's all about right now. Them bunny ears. Opulent owls. Hmm, but no. It's a nightmare without him by my side. It's like a thing. He's in the Forsaken Fortress. It's Mo the Moblin. What the fractal. This battle terribly bad. I've drifted off into my own dream world. Yeah, I deliver this letter to Mo. What? Really? You're such a dear. You made Maggie so happy. I got a letter and I'm gonna put it in the post box. Hopefully I won't have to pay. Any more than 200 rupees? Well, for one, I have 868 rupees. I guess I had to look at my HD PVR screen to be able to do that because of the whole cutoff thing on my TV. So, uh, make a connection of moblins and sparkling things, and let's give him 24 skull necklaces. Actually, all he wants is 20. Yes, filthy rich over nine. Yes, I do have 20 of these, and he's just gonna snatch them away from me, but then he is gonna give me a treasure chart. Yep. Behind the. The fleet game. There's a ladder right here, and um, I forget what, like what wind direction this has to face. There's a little side quest I want to do that involves the windmill of Windfall Island. All right, I changed the wind direction to north. I don't even know why it has to be north, but uh, like because 
east wind would like blow it to the way it is going, but yeah. Um, let's go to the other side. After some episodes, we're finally going up these stairs and seeing what secret thing Salvatore is hiding from us. Is he hiding all the baguettes? I want baguettes. Oh, are you the baguette keeper? Oh, would you look at that? The Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have started it up. I wonder got the thing going again. I don't know uh, who or what it was, where he is, blah, blah, blah. But he is a guest and, 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 and did the thing. Jump to the gondola seats. And I think uh, I want it to be nighttime. Alright, the gondola seats are moving. So let's uh, equip our fire arrows because as we go up, there's this little thing right here, which is supposed to be shining Sean Connery. But we are here to light it up. And I thought I would have missed that, but no I didn't. And now light has been brought back. And there's a few things opening up for us from right here. A heart piece and a heart piece. So yeah, now that we know that that little thing is a heart piece, where's the other heart piece that I speak of? Well, okay, let's not miss my landing. And take no damage, actually. It's this guy right here that is going to be like, Yeah, you're cool, and you can get a heart piece from him. Ooh, let's jump down and whoa. Please do not let bad things happen to me. Oh, I was nervous that I was going to let slide down, then things go ape crap and stuff. But yeah, here we are at the other side of this place here, and uh, this treasure chart gives me the remembery, yes, the rememory, that it is Linzo, the photographer, or pictographer, rather. Ooh, there's a hole to grow through. Alright, let's jump out, and I yeah, don't leave Link hanging there. Actually, yeah. Yeah, Link can just hang here all, all he wants. Allow me to think. Oh yes, I first started searching for pictures as I recorded a true video about ten years ago. How interesting! Huh? Who's there? Whoa, what are you doing here? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Um, uh, I don't know. With 12 out of 20 hearts, the mailbox is dancing yet again. Good evening. It's evening the day of stuff. Where have you been, big brother? Things are nice, and Mr. Gonzo is cool, and Nudge is a little strange, and then Sins has a nice beard, and Zuko's quiet, and Michael doesn't like it when you do the thing with his glasses, and I'm a real, and I'm gonna give you money. So Milo's father is the one under the tree now, and Milo's out here at night time, as he would talk about. Take off, go away. Okay, fine. I will go away then. Oh, what's happening? Where are you going? Oh, boy. Now, this can be a little bit annoying. We just have to... Give her chase and and see where she ends up. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like what happens if she she like sort of sees you the first time, like Link like makes a weird meowing kind of noise, and then if you get close to her, she'll notice you, and then you have to restart the whole kind of deal thing. No way, she's going over to Zanari's shop. She's working there just so she can steal. Oh, you trying to steal money, eh? You and your freckled nose. You startled me. What do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you? The kid creeps around and just keeps scaring people. Or kind of people. I'm an ally of justice. So, what are we doing right here? I think the best way to go throughout this is to say the first uh, choice to, yeah, talking about, yeah, how she's like went into poverty uh, after the whole thing about money, spending off money to get you saved, then I just come along and save you. Unfortunately, I will not let you go because I'm honest, quibbling over things, and your vocab word at school. Thank you very much. Don't have to sink down to the level of a thief. Please take this! The fourth and final empty bottle in the game! Did she steal this? Don't look at me like that. I did steal it. I washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Well, as long as you have a smile on your face, you are beautiful. Goodbye, Ally of Justice, and good luck to you. And she's gonna go back home now, and quit doing things. What could ever be going on here? Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears! Silence! I'm telling you we don't allow postmen here! Be gone! Be gone! Don't be ridiculous! I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return with Mo's letter. Especially because there's not a post once there. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! And please, be reasonable! Can you at least sign for the letter? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Just acknowledge I was here! I am gone! Gone! Rawr! Foolish man! Now you've made me angry! I can't even look you in the face any longer, I fear I might, I might just go somewhere to cool my feathers. 
So, <laughs> it's best that the love would be forbidden. So, where do people go when they're sad? Why, the coffee house, of course. So, let's see, let's see what we can find the postman here. Hey, how you doing? Well, kind of zipped in on her head. I don't know, there's all these guys here. Okay, let's talk to him. Oh, it's, uh, it's you, I'm sorry, I had to win this uh, the whole thing back there. Came to deliver a letter, refusing to accept such nonsense. I'm a failure of the trade, but I have other deliveries waiting to be made. I cannot hope for forever. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Could you deliver? Okay, I can do that. Indeed, I could, so get the model's letter and take it over to Maggie, so... Yeah, why don't you just do that? Like, they'll probably just, like, take his cane and then, like, just whack you out. And then, he wouldn't even bother to pay for the class. His money makes money. <sighs> Once again, back to her. I don't really want to get that close to her. It's a letter from Mel, it even has, like, a novel and notes on it. Let me read this is not that apparently, like, like a kid's mark or something. This is Mo. I like you, Maggie. So much that I want to eat you for dinner. Oh, kinky. Did you that? Those words means, must mean, can it be? Is this his marriage proposal? It must be unless my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. Unless he understands how I feel. It's the happiest day of my life. Trudy, doody, la! Ah! <laughs> the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. Please do not talk about it. And for that, we get a heart piece. Holy awesome. So we did a few side quests here at Windfall Island and found out the whole truth of uh, Zelda being Tetra. Well, the reverse of that, but yeah. Anyway, until next time, Legend of Zelda Windwork HD, where we actually do a good deal of side questing. Do not toast yourself.